Hi, everybody. So Amelia and I are here again for another health installment. And we're going to talk about more random things this time. Just things that are good to know. So mm -hmm. Amelia's going to start us out with the liver. Liver, liver, liver. Yes, as we were talking about too, um, with the emotions, every um, organ has its primary purposes, but also emotional connections. It has a meridian. It's connected to a certain chakra and, um, and it has a lot of, um, you know, things that come before and after <clears throat> the liver and the liver gallbladder are often paired together yes. as how they're working well together. And so, um, so first of all, if, if somebody is particularly angry, then their liver is probably taxed on some levels. So looking at your own way of expressing anger to help cleanse your liver is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of amazing liver herbs, amazing ones. Um, you had mentioned milk thistle, honey, yeah. um, and red clover. Um, you know, I use a lot of beets and beet juices to help the gallbladder open up to help the liver also to open up um one of my favorites ashwagandha beautiful for that and I think astragalus even helps with liver as well I mean so many good herbs but um and if you're one who has like seasonal issues too it's important to look at the liver and maybe your detox pathways to see how well they are open and maybe what your histamine load might be. So mm -hmm. it's kind of complex. So I'll just leave it with that, that basic, just so we can look at where to, where to start with that. So really it's up, it depends on what your body needs in the moment is where you start. So, yeah. Yeah. And bitter foods are really a big thing for the liver that your liver likes bitter so those bitter, mm -hmm. like romaine lettuce or, you know, some of those things are really helpful. And you can buy bitters. They're so intense, <laughs> but you can get them. And they're very good for the liver. It makes the liver very happy. So, you know, think about that too. But beets are mm -hmm. amazing. So beets are good for your liver, for your spleen, for your colon mm. like they're good for so many things and if you get yes. organic food then it won't have as many nutrients as it did a long time ago but still you're doing better than mm -hmm. not getting organic so right yeah well, and those of you who like to work with energy too you can amplify the energy of your foods too and and maybe you don't have access to organic i'm noticing some stores don't always have organic um bananas like they didn't have any at natural grocers when I went a few days ago mm -hmm. um but they had an organic pineapple which I couldn't find anywhere else so that was great so yeah everything's very random at the grocery lately I've noticed so mm -hmm. we are having some weird supply things I feel like that's part of the parallel shift going on yes <clears throat> So if you have, what was that called? Epstein-Barr virus. So this is mm. a good time to say we're not doctors. Yes. And do what you feel is right for your own body. We're just giving you information that we have used. But Epstein-Barr virus, you can get rid of it usually with cat's claw. So that's mm -hmm. a good supplement for that issue. And a lot of people have that. So, and I feel like yes. it comes, we acquire it when we're children. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really rough on the body. So, yes, I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. Me too, in a big way. And my naturopathic doctor, she was an MD as well. So she tested for it. And she's like, well, you have this. And that's a precursor to what you have going on. And I was like, Oh, great. You know, super so, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. Um, 
And another thing with the food is like your local farm, you know, your local farm, yes. your farmer's market. Yeah. Yeah. Really ask the people who um, are working at the farmer's market, how do you treat your food? Even if they're not all certified organic, some of them use organic practices yeah. without being certified. So really talk to them and see, and just go with your gut when which ones are higher vibration mm -hmm. that match you. Absolutely. So. And I mean, we're coming into prime time farmer's market time right mm -hmm. now. Like we're going to be getting into that pretty soon. So that's exciting. Um, why don't you talk about the sway test? Cause you're definitely better with the muscle stuff. Yes, I have gone through many different kinds of muscle testing <laughs> modalities myself yes. um, because I've been worked on by practitioners back in the day. And um, and so one of the earliest ways I was doing that is the sway test. And so um, basically what you do is you can just stand in your normal, natural position and um, you can either ask your body a question or like I've got a product here hold a product up to you and see which direction your body leans. But first you want to calibrate. You can, you can even ask your body, show me what a yes is for this weight test and see if it moves one direction or the other. Mm -hmm. If your body's not responsive, it may not be the first modality you use for muscle testing. So I teach many different kinds, yeah. but at the grocery store, it's really easy to hold up a product and see what happens. I already used this today, so I'm going backwards a little bit. Um, but let's see, I haven't used this product yet because I've just have a collection around me. It's kind of neutral. I'm kind of going back and forth. See, I'm kind of moving side to side, like not right now. Um, if I want to go forward, I bet I do need this one. Yes, peppermint oil. Mm. So that's a good one for lots of different things. But um so usually forward going towards the product or towards the food is a yes. Mm -hmm. And if your body resists it, then it's usually a no. And you could even ask two or three foods at one time, you know, I'm going to put three products together. I'm instantly going back. So, and yeah. I'm sitting down, but it still works for me in this moment. So did I miss anything with that? Or is that a pretty no. comprehensive? And we'll put your class below. So if you really want to know how to do your own muscle, like if you want to ask your body all the time about stuff, and if you're going through like a really hard, um, you know, issue with the body, then it's good to be able to talk to your body. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'll put that below. Um, I also want to talk about apricot stuff. And you want to look this up. I'm going to put this on YouTube, so I'm not going to say too much, but mm -hmm. apricot kernels and oil are really, really amazing. And they scare people with a certain um, component that's in it that they say is going to hurt your lungs. But I've never actually seen anybody have that problem. So you don't want to go crazy and eat, you know, 20 of these a day if it's a kernel. Um, mm -hmm. But I got the oil for the outside of the body. And I think that will be really good because somebody I know has some spots. So we're going to put oil on it. You can also use garlic oil for that. But most of the stuff that we have a problem with is a fungus, a mold, or a parasite. Mm -hmm. So pretty much all issues with the body are caused by that, usually triggered by an emotional issue. Yes. Yeah. So I highly recommend getting a book about how what is connected to what emotion, you know, what in the body is connected to what emotion. And Louise Hay has a book uh, out about that. And then there's another lady that I love the book and I don't have it in my hands, so I can't remember. There's one the that book. I use. Uh, yeah, I use <clears throat> one called Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. Oh yeah, that's a great book. And it's got a great comprehensive resource and I got it on Kindle. So I can just, with I'm working with a client, 
sometimes I'm told, go look in the book and I can look under whatever it is. And there's like four or five different emotional connections. And so we, we try to work on the one that stands out the most yeah. and ask that one yeah. and see the source of it, clear it out and, and keep going. Yeah. So, and that is wise to do your emotional stuff at the same time um, as you're doing your physical, because we have the emotional and the physical component. Mm -hmm. And I think in the future, we'll still have a bit of a physical component, um, but we'll be able to just channel that essence of whatever it is we want for the yes. body versus buying an item. Mm -hmm. I will do that with clients. I will ask for the body to receive the frequencies of whatever it is. But if you want to continue the work, I recommend, you know, just maybe sometimes they need more, sometimes they don't. And so if they need the product more, get it and just keep it going throughout the next several weeks or months, whatever the body needs to help support clear out either a small amount or a larger thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. I always do both. Like you always need to do, because everything gets triggered by some sort of emotional thing. Mm -hmm. But then you, we mm -hmm. have a lot of environmental stuff that isn't the best. So yes. if you, if it gets triggered, then all that other stuff kicks in. So, yeah. 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 I, I had to learn that many years ago. There's lots of concepts and modalities that are based on that for healing too yeah so. yeah and also the ayurvedic things i really like yes um, you know digging into that a little bit and i feel like the turmeric is really amazing for a lot of people you want to mix the black pepper in with that you know to get the full mm -hmm feeling of it but I take turmeric in the morning in my coffee and it's this certain concoction which I talked about in another video and it's almost instantaneous the energy that mm. I get out of that like it's very mm -hmm. fast um Beautiful. so there's just things you know experiment but we'll yes. do a random video like this once in a while because I feel like mm -hmm. there's things that you can't do a whole video on them but they're important Yes. And so, you triggered something from my memory too, the Ayurvedic body types too. Yes. Um, that one was really helpful for me to know what body type I was. I'm a Kapha primary body type and there's quizzes all over the internet. You can take to see which body type you are and which foods energetically match better with you. It's not a cut and dry system, mm -mm. but it can get you started if you're not sure where to start. Um, it's one of my favorites. There's lots of body type things out there and blood type and this and that. Um, but I don't know. And higher vibrational people, I think, do better with the Ayurvedic um, type system, in my opinion. So, yeah. Yeah, I really like it. And I think, too, like for me, I'm supposed to have a lot of warm food. Mm hmm. So. I'm supposed to, like the lady said I was cold, like my body ran cold and dry, cold and mm. dry. And I think, you know, just kind of catering to and helping to balance the system out is important. Mm. And I like warm food over cold food. And I do eat cold food, like a yogurt and, you know, different stuff, but mm spice it up, put some cinnamon in there, warm up yes. the idea of it. You know, if that's the case for you, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to experiment. I'm a crazy experimenter in the kitchen. It's fun. If you've got the, it is fun. And yeah. Sometimes tastes really bad later, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> try it. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yep. So um, I made this weird candy the other day and I'm avoiding sugar. So I had this coconut milk that was like, it's sweetened alternative sweetener and it doesn't, it's not the same condensed coconut milk as it is with the sugar, 
so the candy mm. didn't taste right and I was like oh this is not wow, as good and my husband's like oh, I don't like this as well you know so then I just turned it into cookies I just threw some more stuff in there and turned it into cookies so just kind of you know wing it sometimes mm -hmm. it's okay yeah, I did that with my daughter's first birthday. I was trying to be very conscientious with sugars and make a really healthy first birthday cake because she hadn't had any sugar and, right. and it totally flopped. It was so bad. I had a backup, thankfully, but it, it was, it was like, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. And I think learning how to cook without sugar is, it's a process. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, the coconut sugar is pretty like you can just substitute it straight across, but I don't yeah. know. Like I can't wait to make cinnamon rolls. I'm going to be doing that soon and Ooh. stuff like that. And who knows what it's going to look like. Cause you know, I'm going to be changing a lot of stuff as I go. Yeah. Yeah. So as long as it's edible, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> Yes, it's fun. That's so fun. Yeah, have fun. And if you have kids, they like to get involved with that stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. My kids love to bake. Yeah. I think kids in general love to bake. Mm hmm Because mm -hmm. they know what's on the other side. They're like, oh. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I can't think of any more random things at the moment, but definitely put them in the comments for us so that we can, yes. you know, continue to build out. And we do have a couple of subjects coming up that are going to be really good. So. Yeah. yeah. And I, I definitely go into depth with this more in the nutrition course online too, especially mm -hmm. choosing high quality foods. I put some resources in there too. Um, or if you're not sure where to start, we can, as I can always distance test you too. I think, um, some people just need a little jump start to help have someone help them. Mm -hmm. You know, when I ask for support too, Hey, can you double check me on this? And, um, so if you need any support, reach out to those you trust and figure mm -hmm. out what you need to do to make some changes for you. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. And Amelia is still seeing people like one-on-one. -on -one, so keep mm -hmm. that in mind. It's good to have an appointment, like to get jump started on something new a lot of times. So, and sometimes mm -hmm. you need more attention than that. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Until the physical vessels cleaned out, I say, you know, we can keep clearing as much as you need to, as you're guided to, I'm still clearing myself out and mm -hmm. <laughs> healing and it's, you know, things are shifting and yeah, um, we're all hopefully feeling better. So we are, we're getting better. I think even the healers are starting to get better because the healers have oh taken gosh. on a lot of the stuff from the people they're healing. Uh -huh. So you end up carrying around a lot more stuff than maybe somebody you're actually helping. And that has started to change. The healers mm -hmm. are starting to heal themselves and that's a beautiful thing to watch because actually yes. eventually we'll all heal ourselves maybe with a little mm -hmm. bit of information or inspiration but we're on the cusp of that but it doesn't mean that we're ready to totally get rid of individual stuff because we're not no and I teach yeah. people how to do that because I've had to learn too I used to get migraines from people you know, treating me badly or whatever it was, it would, I would internalize so much of it that it would take a full 24 hours for it to clear. Mm -hmm. So if you're an empath or highly sensitive, um, I've got an empath community where I teach some tips and tricks and do, um, different sessions to help people process that and, you know, shield yourself and, and different things, or we can work one-on-one -on, -one on just clearing the layers. So, um, or whomever resonates with you. So yeah, yeah, I had to learn the hard good. way. <laughs> so, yeah, well, and I think that there's opportunity for people to do different things now. So like some yes. people are doing, you guide yourself and I will pop in once in a while. And, you know, that's some of the stuff I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then it's good to start out with some individual stuff, I feel like. 
And then you start graduating and you're ready to do like a program with a whole lot of people that are doing it. And so mm -hmm. it just depends on where you're at and check in with yourself. Yes. See where you're yeah. at. Yeah. What's for your highest good right now? What's the next mm -hmm. layer? You know, um, yeah, just have to find what matches you. So, yep. but let us know in the comments, what are you guys looking for? We've got a couple mm -hmm. more ideas for the next two. And after that, um, we'll be looking at yours again to figure out what to do next. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Amelia. This was a beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. This is fun. It <laughs> is fun. Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a Bye. good one.